So I've had a good night's sleep in a nice hotel. I've had a good breakfast, and I'm ready to see the ruins of Angkor Wat. Now, the ruins of Angkor Wat are designated by the United Nations as a World Heritage Site. We're going to see that and a lot more temples today on our excursion. Our first stop today was Angkor Thom, which means Great City. It appears to have been an administrative center of the Khmer Empire. In its heyday, Angkor Thom would have rivaled Venice, Paris, or Rome in architectural glory. Angkor Thom was a walled city. Traffic went in and out the city through one of its four gates. Today, these gates are outstanding monuments of the glory that was Angkor Thom. Inside Angkor Thom is the impressive Bayan Temple. This inner city is approached by four cardinal points via huge stone gates and causeways. From a distance, it looks like a rather formless jumble of stones. The Bayan forms a three-tiered pyramid with 54 towers, each dominated by over 200 huge, four-meter-high mysterious faces, facing out to the north, east, south, and west. Inside the temple, one discovers a maze of galleries, towers, and passageways. All this under the gaze of the ever-present faces with closed eyelids and faint smile. workmanship is wonderful. It's amazing what these people were able to do back in the day. <laughs> I am amazed. Intricate details on the stone cuttings, it's wonderful. Another beautiful temple in the Angkor Wat complex is Ta Prom. This temple to the east of Bayon wins hands down for sheer dramatic effect. Unlike other monuments, Ta Prom has been left the way it was originally found. The ancient structure is still gripped by massive strangler fig and banyan tree roots, giving the feeling of discovering the archaeological treasure for the first time.
a temple right now that was built in the 11th century AD. It's one of the last temples that was built here in Angkor Wat. When it was abandoned, it was abandoned for good. And over the centuries, these huge trees have sprouted up. Now the Cambodian government wants to tear them down, but preservationists have prevailed and the trees will stay put as they have been for centuries. <laughs> At its peak, over 70,000 people, including high priests, monks, assistants, dancers, and laborers lived in this vast 600-room monastery that contains a maze of courtyards and galleries, many still impassable because of the dense overgrowth of creepers and roots. While there are many temples in the area, the grandest one of them all is Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat stuns you with its size and amazes you with its art and architecture. The site covers an area of 500 acres. A moat 200 meters wide and 6 kilometers long forms a barrier to the outside world. From the main road, you walk 230 meters over the moat causeway to an impressive tower. That is only the guardhouse. Once you get through the guardhouse, you see another vista with another walkway 350 meters long, ending with a temple proper. Five towers dominate the skyline, four surrounding a central fifth. The central shrine is the highest, extending 65 meters into the sky from the ground. It took about 50,000 artisans workers and slaves about 40 years to complete the world's largest religious building. After the long walk up the stairs, you finally get to the Holy of Holies of Angkor Wat. It's the primary sanctuary for Buddhists. What's interesting about this whole entire complex is that the whole entire facade of every single column, wall, ceiling, was at one time carved with intricate artwork. Everyday life, celestial dancers, and legend cover the surfaces. The release of this northern portion of the Western Gallery represent an episode of the Ramayana, an Indian epic tale which recounts the exploits of Prince Rama and Avatar of Vishnu. We see here the Battle of Lanka, in which Rama's monkey army, led by the monkey general Hanuman, fight the demon kings of Ravana's army. Rama's army seeks to rescue his wife Sita, who has been captured and held hostage in Lanka, Ravana's capital. To the Khmer people, Angkor Wat is more than just a pile of stones. It is more than just the remains of a highly advanced kingdom. It is more than just a tourist attraction. To the Khmer, it is a symbol of hope and a gift for the people of the world to enjoy. <laughs>